Art Studio Pro is the digital drawing app developed by Lucky Clamp, and it's available for $11.99 on iPads. In an ever-growing landscape of digital drawing apps, Art Studio Pro really stands out because it gives you a lot of bang for your buck at $12. Let's get into it. The UI is more in line with what you typically see on a desktop app, which is not surprising because there's also a Mac version of RCO Pro available as a separate purchase. You can even float menus to your preferred position, which makes it very similar to many desktop apps. The top row is where you'll find your familiar drawing tools. For painting, we have a standard brush, a wet brush, the smudge tool, and an eraser. And I have to say that the brush engine is actually quite nice, especially for painting. You also get an eyedropper tool, a square selection tool, and a star icon that holds your favorite tools by default. Finally, there's a drop down menu that holds all the rest of the available tools. By pressing edit in the top menu, you can also rearrange, add, and remove tools from the top row. This level of customization is something I wish other apps would offer. This might seem like a small thing, but if it takes you more than a few seconds to find your tools because the UI is not to your liking, it can really add up and take you out of your flow. The layer system is also robust with folders, effects, blending modes, and various adjustments like levels and curves. With all these tools and functions available, it's very easy to make thumbnails for videos like these and even do some light photo editing. Which brings me to one of my main points. Art Studio Pro feels more like Photoshop than the Photoshop for iPad OS does, to the point where you can actually import real Photoshop brushes. Art Studio Pro may not have all the tools Photoshop has for intense photo editing, but for iPad artists missing the Photoshop experience, Art Studio Pro could be a great alternative. You also have the ability to record a time lapse in the background and some powerful filters like pixelize and pattern creation. Your art files are easily accessible from the built-in iOS files app, and RCO Pro also allows you to edit your keyboard shortcuts. Both of these functions are criminally missing from some pro-level drawing apps on iOS. And the list goes on. It's really a shame that other apps don't offer the level of customization and pro-level features that RStudio Pro does. That's not to say RStudio Pro doesn't have its issues. As those with a keen eye may have noticed, some of the timeless footage looks sharper and overall better than other parts. For the majority of my time with RStudio Pro, I had my recording set to full HD. It was only when I started to do this video and explored time-lapse footage that I noticed the lower quality of the HD setting, which is not even 1080p HD, but rather closer to 720. After switching things to the 4K setting, the quality did improve and exports are proper 4K. These files are more than usable for YouTube and other purposes. If you know this in advance, it's very easy to take very high quality footage. It's just unfortunate that for the majority of my time with RStudio Pro, I didn't have it on the 4K setting. RStudio Pro offers a lot of flexibility with its layer system, but one function that I often use for complex illustrations is sadly missing. You can clip layers to layers, but you can't clip layer folders to layers. This is particularly important to me when I do a complex illustration. It's the way I've been painting for years since Paint Tool Sci and even in Clip Studio. They both allow you to clip your layer folder to say a base layer that just has the outline of your drawing. And it's a great way to keep things organized and maintain a lot of control over your line work and coloring. For comic artists, you do get your rulers and guidelines, but there doesn't seem to be a shape tool or a way to make clean lines that aren't vertical or horizontal. RCO Pro also does not provide screen tones or other helpful assets for comic creation. On very large files, 350 dpi, 3000 by 3000 pixels, and over 70 layers, I did experience some slowdown with the iPad Mini 5. There were a few crashes while working on those files, but luckily the autosave function works well and even saved some of my progress. It is just something to note, if you do work on large files like the ones that I do, you might want to compromise on the number of layers or the size of your canvas to have a smoother experience. All of these issues I've stated are more like little annoyances and certainly aren't deal breakers for many artists. They can also most likely be solved with a software update, which would take this great app and make it even better. In the end, Art Studio Pro didn't replace my primary drawing apps, but I do still enjoy painting with it, and I can see how Photoshop artists would find a new home in Art Studio Pro. Art Studio Pro is a great app with a lot of pro features, but mobile restrictions. In a lot of ways, the problems with mobile drawing apps, even professional grade ones like Art Studio Pro, is no matter how good they are, you're often forced to learn a new way to work rather than be able to apply your own preferences. Rewriting muscle memory to use a new app can take a lot of time and dedication, and all artists can't commit to doing that. But I feel like all the pieces are there to make RStudio Pro a well-balanced professional level tool for creators working on iPad. Since RStudio Pro is one of the rare customizable drawing apps, the learning curve isn't as steep, and I believe with some patience, you can also integrate RStudio Pro into your workflow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Since you watched the end, I'll let you in on a little secret. 
Since our Studio Pro does let you customize your keyboard functions, you can use a controller like this one to really improve your workflow. I made a video on this before and I'll link it in the description. I'm Skipan and thank you so much for watching.